the Lord just put this in my heart. This may be a little difficult for some of you younger people, but I think you'll 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 catch on. You see what I am really concerned about is that every one of you on that day will be smiling. I mean smiling before the Lord. That you won't be ashamed on that day. See the greatest the greatest challenge in life is how to keep our Christianity strong. That's the challenge because it's easy to get saved. It's tough to stay holy. It's tough to stay sanctified. It's very tough to stay strong in the Lord. You know, like when people run in, in a race, it's easy to start. Boy, when you get close to that finish line, it's tough. So how do we stay strong? How do we finish well? That's really what I want to talk to you about. And I know some of you young people are a little cold-hearted. That's normal, it's okay. But if you don't do something about it, you will not make heaven. The cold heart will be rejected. See, Jesus asks of us, to pay a very high price, a very high price. What is it? Your life. Now when, when I say your life, I mean you have to deny your life. You have to deny yourself. True Christianity is, if any man come after me, that's what the, what, what the Lord said, I didn't say that, that's what he said. If any man will come after me, let him what? Deny himself. That's not what you hear today in church. What you hear is how to build self and how to prosper self, and how to success this and success this and success this. It's all about success and how to make it. And it's really, it's a hope message. It's not the gospel. It's a message of hope. We all need hope, but hope only can carry you so far and then it'll stop. What we need is how do I, how do I survive when persecution comes? How do I survive when I may be in prison for my faith? Will I really be a believer if they come and take my Bible away from me and they imprison me for having a Bible? You say that never happened. It did. You see, most of you young people and older people may not know church history. Millions, millions were killed for owning a Bible around the world. Millions. And what you don't know is, they were killed by religious people, not by the governments of those countries. More people were killed, don't get, don't get upset with me, I'm just giving you history here, okay? If you don't believe it, go check me out. More were killed by religious organizations than by the Roman Empire. The popes of Rome, years ago, were really like emperors. After Constantine, the popes took the place of the emperor of Rome and they killed Christians for owning a Bible. The Pope. The Papa. Back then. Back then, huh? So, you have to know your history. You, every one of you needs to, needs to read Fox's Book of Martyrs. It will change your life. It's just plain history. Church history. Uh, because back then they, they only had one translation of the Bible in Latin. Nobody was allowed to have a Bible in their own language. Well, who knew Latin? Only the priests and the scholars. So people would go to church and the